The story comes to us from AmericanProgress.org. And this one I'm going to give to you for discussion's sake. It has to do with firearms and gun laws and the police. And it basically says, <clears throat> Policing is a perilous profession, and officers often encounter dangerous situations in the course of their duties. Well, so do the, the military. These risks are even higher in states with weak gun laws. Yet in many states, some the same politicians that claim to support police agencies also push to weaken gun laws, despite law enforcement agencies' opposition, and they're saying, and it further endangers officers' lives. I disagree with that. I'm going to get back to that in a second. If elected officials are serious about protecting police officers, they must stop passing dangerous gun laws and increasing the police officer's risk of experiencing gun violence. I disagree. I'm going to let you know why in a minute. Um, and on that note, someone had commented on one of my editorials and said, you know, terrible reporting, terrible. The bias is sickening. Well, that's the format of this. This isn't simple reporting. I'm giving you a snippet of a story. I'm telling you how I feel or what I think. And then you tell me if you agree or disagree in the comment section below. And you can also do that with each other in the comment section. I agree with you. No, I disagree with you. Uh -huh. And you go back and forth. And that's what it's all about. That's the format of the show. I didn't take down that comment because, well, that's his opinion. He thinks it's terrible reporting. He must not be a fan of Alex Jones or Bill O'Reilly or Dittohead. Rest in peace. Um, but they give us some stats here from 2012 to 2021. 504 police officers were killed in the United States. Out of those... 456 of the officers were fatally shot with a gun, meaning that 90% of the homicides were perpetrated with a gun. Now, from the last year of that statistic, 2020 to 21, the number of police officers that fatally shot in that count rose 35%. So through 2012 to 2020, these police officers were killed. And in that last year to 21, it rose 35%. I guess that is that the highest percentage? I guess it would be. Wow, that's a lot of years. But they say from 2012 to 2021, 456 police officers were fatally shot in the USA. And during that same period, 12 police officers were fatally shot in Canada. That's because they love each other, yeah. Hey, take off, horse head. Yeah, you know what it's all about. Uh, four police officers were fatally shot in the United Kingdom because they drink little bottles of Lega and they have fun and watch football. Uh, three police officers were fatally shot in Australia it's because they drink uh, those tallies and say, Good day, mate. Hey, we're going to have a tolly. Get that drone go out of here. Um, now, uh, but, the, but you see, 456 officers in the USA, 12 in Canada, 4 in the UK, Three in Australia. So we have a gun problem. They, they need to pass tougher gun laws to protect the cops. We get back to that. Listen, I'm going to get back to that in a second here. This thing will be too long. But it is because according to certain people, I ramble. Now they do another study here, uh, which I'm not going to go through. There's, there's a couple of, yeah, it's a whole bunch of them. Uh, there's a lot of different stories and then a conclusion. I'll let you click the link in the description box and you can read all these different studies that they did and read their conclusion. But the gist of it is what I've read already that police officers' lives are not, the risk to police officers' lives is not increased with weaker gun laws. Here's why. Because the only people worried about gun laws are law-abiding citizens, and they're not going to shoot police anyway. It's the criminals. It's the people getting stolen guns, guns that are off the street with a serial number scratched off, stealing guns out of people's homes. Those are the people that are killing the police. So we're going to pass tougher gun laws. Great, now you have a bunch of unarmed citizens being victimized by people that are going to shoot you, the police. They're already doing it. It doesn't matter if you weaker gun laws, tougher gun laws. Criminals don't care about gun laws. They're already doing it. 
The only thing passing tougher gun laws is going to do is keep guns out of the homes that, well, criminals now, they break into a home, they go, gee, this guy don't have guns. Damn those gun laws.